What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. Today we're going to be taking a look at box number two of the Platinum Boom Box for the month of January 2020. Our first box we did okay. We did hit an autograph out of draft. Uh, usually, if history goes how it usually does, this box here is not going to be as well. So we're going to try to see if we can change that. The boom box has treated me so good in the past. Uh, this month's lineup was really nice. I wish they would have included uh, Bowman's Best this month, but they didn't. Which, the Big Bat box, that's the one I can't wait to get. They're going to have Draft and Best in the same box. So looking forward to that one. Uh, we'll take a look at our lineup, but even with that being said though, this was still a very nice lineup So they back now with the magnetic one touches Let's See if we can use that don't generally use them with chrome cards much, but and Here it is. We've seen this before very nice lineup with the big daddy right there the draft jumbo You got one in four chance plus another couple good packs Didn't get the ticket promo which can't get too greedy. We have got that twice before Ended up winning the main prize one time. But uh, let's see what we got. I see a nice one on the front. A nice silver pack. And that's from Update 2020. We got some Series 2 Hobby. Got some Topps Chrome. That's a nice one there. Bowman Chrome. Allen and Ginner. 2014 Bowman Draft. Regular Allen and Ginner. And there's the Big Daddy. So we'll go something about like this. We'll move that up some. We'll do the two Bowman's last. How about that there? That looks like good. All right, here we go. Pack number one, boom box. Let's see if we can beat them odds, guys. Not a ton of releases out. You know, I'm still waiting to get uh, my archive signature series in the mail. I did order a couple of those. We'll do that. Coming up this week, there's a nice Schmidt, Mike Schmidt. Our mini is a Patrick Corbin, and that is an Allen and Ginner back. They also have these with the no numbers. And the irrigator down on the farm. And not too much longer, y'all. Just a couple of more weeks, Series 1 will be out. And that's going to be a loaded, loaded lineup this year. Just hope they chill out with the print runs. Does it look like we got anything? No, it don't look like nothing. But this is a nice product. This is Boombox has been including this for a while now, but they got some nice stuff in here. Let's see if we can get one of them nice names. Devin Travis. Our other chrome is Casey Soltis. Don't know much about him. There's a Ramis Garcia. Went to the Cubs and Jose Peraza. So not too much happening just yet, but we got a lot of good stuff to go. Series 2. Let's see if we can find that Mr. Mike Trout. There's my boy, Garrett Stubbs. Didn't play too much. And the greatest of them all, the tops flip. King Felix. Where you at, Luis Robert? Andrew Knapp. There's a rookie. We got a Tops Now insert of Justin Verlander. Hopefully he can get back from Tommy John, man, and pitch this year. It's going to be tough, but anything is possible. Gio Gonzalez and Colton Wong. All right. Here comes the Chrome stuff. Can we beat them a hodge? This is a tough product to hit in. I never really looked at the odds on here as far as the refractors. So refractors aren't too hard in color, but the autographs, man, one in 400. I think I was watching Amio Tenny's channel, and he ended up pulling an autograph, which was crazy. Can't remember who it was. Hanson, we got a Cattell Marte. Our mini is going to be a refractor, I guess, a bug, bumblebee bugging out. And R.L. Stein, so not too much. 
We got a lot of picking up to do, but like I say all the time, it just takes that one card, y'all. Especially with packs like this. Silver pack from 2020 Tops Update. Give us something nice. We don't have anything thick, but there's a beautiful Dale Murphy. Stomont, Mookie Betts, and Mikey Strzemski. All right. Three to go. Up next, we got 2020 Tops Chrome. Like I said, history says we get one decent box and one bad box every month, and it seems like that theme is holding true. Azan Diaz, that's a prism, not terrible. We'll take that. And a Brandon Lowe. Where are you at, Mr. Acuna? I do not have an Acuna rookie card from here. Let's see what we can get out of here. 2018 Bowman Chrome. This product is extremely expensive and nothing thick once again. Louis Urias, Bo Burrows, Mr. Tukey Toussaint, Kiermaier, and Jordan Hicks rookie. Not a bad rookie there. Decent pitcher. So, guys, we are getting skunked. Holy cow. But let's see what we can get out of here. Can we luck up and find one of them autos? Maybe a color. What do we have? And we do have, looks like a couple thick ones, guys. So we are going to have an auto, it looks like. Not necessarily, but it looks like we got a refractor. We're not going to go through the paper. We've all seen this enough. Don't really need to go through that. But here it is. Here we go. Mr. Burl Caraway Refractor and a Zach Deloach. Not a bad two refractors there. There's a nice Nick York. Geraldo Perdomo. DL Hall. How about that, Mr. Heston Kerstad Chrome? I'll take that. And we got a purple right behind it, guys. And it is Mr. Christian Chamberlain out of 250. It is a first. And I believe we have an auto. Like I tell you, it takes that one card. Who do we have? It's not going to be nothing big. But we did get an auto nonetheless. Brandon Fat, I think his name is spelled. That is a refractor out of $4.99. He was a fifth round draft pick. And why a guy like this made this product, I'll never know. You know, I got a suspicion of why. Because they wanted to increase the print runs. There's so much of this Bowman draft out there right now. But they did that to keep the print runs up. And that's the kind of autos you get. But we can't complain. We did get one. Maybe he'll show out. Not a uh, total bust of a box. But let's see if we can bounce back next month. You know, we kind of had two pretty much even boxes. Two low numbered autos in each box. But that's how it goes with this stuff. Well, guys, thank you all so much. If y'all don't mind, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.